Chapter 4 Be content with what you have. Core value Money is not the only means of leading a happy life. All people are not equally fortunate. One should always remember one's limits and capacity. Let's read. In our society, different types of people live. Some have ability to earn more, while others less. Some people have so much money that they spend a big amount of money after their pet animals, whereas some are not able to make their both ends meet. Many work hard to earn their bread. We all should understand that fortune is not equally distributed. All individuals have their own duties. Duties towards their families, their societies and their countries are the important for all individuals. All individuals must be very hardworking and selfless if they are to discharge their duties properly. Individuals must apply sincere efforts to perform any work. It is necessary for everybody to prepare himself thoroughly in his early years for the tasks that he will have to perform in life. Nisha was the only daughter of her parents. The average income of the family trained her to live a life of limited desires. She was taught to live a disciplined life. Nisha was a reserved, well-educated and disciplined girl. Nisha married Rakesh as per the choice of her parents. Rakesh was a young, handsome and honest man. He worked in a private organization and was involved in the business of computer software. Rakesh and Nisha led a happy life. They loved and cared for each other. Manish was Nisha's neighbor. He was a very helpful neighbor and a lawyer by profession. Manish had a son. His wife Kavita was a housewife. She was a polite and modern lady. Manish was earning well. He was looking after his family in a good way. Nisha and Kavita often met each other. They became good friends. Kavita had decorated her house with expensive furniture. She had a lot of gold jewellery. She had many dresses. Manish had expensive cars too. From her childhood, Nisha had lived a simple and disciplined life. She was never influenced by these amenities. But as the time passed, she was under its influence and developed the passion of acquiring comforts like Kavita. The growing needs and rising desires of Nisha forced Rakesh to work more to earn extra money. He, at times, spent sleepless nights. His health deteriorated due to overwork and insufficient food. Rakesh was forced to buy commodities beyond his financial capacity. After some days, they were burdened with debt. They lost their family peace. Their financial condition was very poor. Nisha had to starve for days. She became the victim of depression. Rakesh had started a new business, which was established after two years of hard work. He began to earn much money and took his wife to a good hospital to cure her depression. He also bought a new car to make her happy, but to no avail. She didn't eat food on time. She became so weak that she was not able to even speak properly. Ultimately, she died. Nisha could not get any opportunity to experience the happiness that was coming her way. Poverty is no crime, nor richness a virtue. A poor and humble man can also lead a happy life if he does his duties sincerely and lives by honest means. A right-minded man must possess courage to live honestly within his means rather than live dishonestly upon the means of other people. He must not pretend to be richer, rather be satisfied with what he or she has got in life. You know now. 1. Few are born with a silver spoon, whereas others lead an average life. 2. A right-minded man must possess courage to live honestly within his means. 3. We must apply sincere efforts to perform any work. 
but we have to accept the result without being disappointed. Word treasure Thoroughly Fully Completely Debt A sum of money that is owned or due. Expensive Costly Pretend Not really what it is told as. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe for more videos and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.